She actually said it was a symbol of hate. Many people in the crowd booed. Some even yelled at her. But in the end, other council members, they disagreed and they voted it down. City Council Member Teresa Lopez sought to ban any support of city events that display the Confederate flag. She also wanted to stop city workers from participating in them. Using this flag results in assault, belittling of one's race. But these residents clearly rebelled and came to this council meeting to show their disdain, filling the more than 200 seats in council chambers. It's heritage. It's, there's... Um, Nothing hate about it. Lopez disagrees. The Confederate flag is not a flag of heritage. Within minutes of her proposal, Councilmember Mike Nowlin called it ridiculous. The Baron in that Ms. Lopez wants to restrict me from being in a parade with any kind of flag drives me crazy. And in the end, the motion dies for a lack of. <laughs> The idea was stopped in its tracks, much to the pleasure of the noisy crowd, a crowd that came to the meeting in a similar fashion. They gathered at the Melbourne Square Mall, then drove several miles all over Melbourne, ending at City Hall. Each vehicle displayed the controversial flag. Enough is enough. We, we don't want people taking our rights away. And uh, I, I felt very uh, confident that uh, most of the people in there feel the same way, and um, I think it went very well. I was very pleased. And we should mention that several people came here to agree with the councilwoman. They called her brave for her idea. Live tonight in Melbourne, in Brevard County, I'm Ryan Hughes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.